What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I've got this 2021 Jeep Renegade North Edition in the 80th anniversary package. And this is painted in the beautiful Alpine white color, which looks very, very nice with the special 80th anniversary coloring that it has on the wheels and everywhere around. Even though this is considered a crossover SUV, this still has your off-road capabilities. Obviously not to an extent for, you know, the other Jeeps, but you can still take this off-roading and enjoy yourself. It's also got the Jeep active drive system along with the select terrain system which i'll show you inside in terms of the different trims that you can get with the renegade you can get the sport version of this which will only be the front wheel drive or the 4x4 version of the sport you can also get trailhawk and then of course you can get this north edition which also has more packages like the 80th anniversary altitude and islander edition so with this 80th anniversary package like i mentioned there are different features that this one has that the other ones won't have for example this has got the 19 inch granite wheels which look very very nice inside you've also got the uconnect 8.4 inch touchscreen system you've got the 80th anniversary badging on the doors inside pretty much everywhere it's also got the accent color side mirrors so just like i mentioned these were granite the side mirrors are also granite color also on the interior you've got black headliner along with the satin granite roof rails and starting things off in the front of this renegade this is a very very unique looking crossover suv as you can see over at the bottom you've got your standard fog lights along with the indicator ones and then your halogen standard um, headlight lamps which you know they look nice and just the whole front just looks very very unique to me also what i like in the front here is this little section right here which has you know room for obviously air and then they've got a nice little easter egg of a jeep right there and it just makes the Jeep look way, way cooler. And you can't forget about the iconic seven slot grill, which obviously carries on over to this. Like I was mentioning, the granite color that comes with the 80th anniversary, you can see here on the Jeep logo, on the grill section here, and pretty much everywhere on the vehicle, even around the lights over here. And looking at it from the side, you can really see how big of an SUV this is. I'm just kidding, it's not huge. Obviously, it's not meant to be huge. It's just a crossover SUV. And if we take a look at the wheel, like I mentioned these are the granite 19 inch wheels which look absolutely beautiful 19 inches on this pretty crazy also you can see that this has obviously the renegade badging with the 80th anniversary badging on the outside which indicates this is the 80th anniversary this is on both sides and it just looks very very nice and of course like I mentioned you do get the roof rails in the granite color this does have the dual panoramic sunroof it's pretty much the whole roof of the car. Inside, it looks way, way better. Coming over to the rear of the Renegade, you can see more of the unique styling, especially with the taillights. Very, very nice. And of course, it has your Jeep logo in the granite, your backup camera built right there, and then your 4x4 badging right there. And if we move right over, you've obviously got your hitch, which this is an optional upgrade that you can get along with the sunroof. And then you've got your single chrome exhaust at the bottom. Now, if you're looking to tow with this, you can tow about 2,000 pounds, obviously when you're equipped right. So, you know, a decent amount of uh, towing capabilities. Also, this is a very, very small thing. So you see this little pattern X design, whatever you want to call it on the rear tail lights. Well, if you move over to the Renegade, you'll have it in the D right there as well. Heading into the rear, this does not have a power lift gate. It is a manual one. But still, in the back, you've got a decent amount of room back here to put whatever you need to. And of course, if you want to make the back even more bigger, you can fold these seats down and have all of this room to put whatever you need to. Over here, something unique that I found on this is that it has little slots here that you can put stuff only on this side. You've got your grocery hooks, which is standard, and then some lighting for the cargo. And on this one, you do have the upgraded Kenwood sound system. I have not seen Kenwood in a while, but it does sound decent. And right under this cover here, you've got a full size 19 inch spare, which looks huge in this car because it is a you know smaller SUV crossover. Some unique stuff that is on this one is on the actual lift gate, you've got this front grille imprinted into the back, which is really, really neat. As for the key, it's a very traditional Jeep key. You've got your unlock, lock button, remote start, panic button, and then of course the Jeep lettering back there. And this does have the keyless entry system. So if you press this, it will lock the vehicle, have the key with you, hand underneath, and it unlocks it. And to hear what this bad boy sounds like, double tap, I'm gonna give it a second. and it's ready to take on the streets. 
And as for what powers this mini beast, it is a 2.4 liter engine, which you can see is very, very small, of course. And this will give you 180 horsepower along with 175 foot pound of torque. This also is a nine speed automatic. Heading into the rear seats here, nothing really crazy. You just got your standard door panel. You've got plastic here, some cloth over here, and then small, stuff to put like a cup holder or something and then you've got a Kenwood speaker here and a small one right up there. You're gonna see more of these kind of the front grille of a Jeep all over hidden everywhere in this. As for the seats themselves this is the only spec that you can get fully black on black. Again these are cloth seats but they're very very comfortable. It's not that you know it's a crossover SUV it's a smaller SUV that it's gonna be less taken care of in terms of comfortability. It's still there very very nice and because this is a smaller crossover SUV you are not gonna have a center handrest right there which normally would have cup holders and even behind the driver's seat, there's no uh, space to put anything. It's just on the passenger side. And in the center here, again, there's no cup holders. Very, very small. You've got a USB port and then just a 115 volt plug at the bottom. And coming into the driver's side, very, very similar layout as the rear. You've got some plastic here, cloth over here, small space to put a cup or two, and then your Kenwood speaker right there and more of that Jeep front grille. You've got your window controls over here and that's pretty much it. And just like the rear seats, the front seats of course are cloth as well. This is the premium cloth so it is nicer looking and obviously this does hold you in place. And they do have the 80th anniversary tags on both of the front seats. Also for the front two seats, they are manual adjustable for both of them. I wish they were, you know, at least this one was automatic, but hey, it's a smaller SUV, so I'll let it go. Over at the bottom, nothing too crazy, just your foot pedals. And then right over here is your hood latch release. Right above that, you've got your lighting controls, fog lights right here, and then your dimmers for the interior. Your steering wheel is manual adjustable. And when you get in, another cool feature you'll notice on the side mirrors is that you'll have the Jeep lettering right there on both mirrors, which is kind of cool. And as for the actual interior, when you get in, you have the nice dashboard. This is not plastic. It's kind of like a hard leather. It is a little squishy. So, you know, at least it's not full plastic. You've got speakers here and on the other corner as well. And as for the center here, again, it's very, very basic. And but it still looks very, very nice at the same time. Like, for example, along your uh, vents here, you've got this nice silver metallic um, bezeling that goes all the way around which looks really really cool and as for the actual center cluster this also looks nice you've got the tack meter speed which is in a unique way with that nice bezeling and then the center obviously you can change around to whatever you need to there's a bunch of different options that you can kind of flick through and you can have whatever you want in front of you so you're not distracted or anything like that the steering wheel itself this is a leather steering wheel which is very very nice and on the actual steering wheel you got these nice gloss black kind of trims that go all the way around also you've got controls like I mentioned for the center gauge cluster you've got Bluetooth and then your cruise control settings right here and you've got this nice granite looking Jeep logo right there and more gloss black right down here as for the safety features this does have the advanced brake assist so you know at least it has some decent amount of you know safety features if it's not fully fully featured out but Again, if you want those, you're gonna have to go up to like the Trailhawk or just a completely different vehicle. As for the center handrest, it is in full cloth. Again, very, very tiny. If you open up the only section that this has, you've got kind of a decent amount of space to put small things, not too much, you know, crazy things, but you have some space in there. And right in front of that, you've got your cup holders. One thing that I do like on this is that all of this is kind of like a piano black that goes all the way around, which looks really, really nice. And also like I've shown you on the rear taillights and on the actual Renegade uh, badging, even in here, you've got the same design as the rear taillights, which is really, really cool because this has a ton of different Easter eggs hidden all around. Right in front of that, you got your trash to control button and then your electronic parking brake right here, which is a nice, you know, convenient place to have it right next to your gear shifter. In front of your gear shifter, like I was mentioning, this does have the select train system so you can flick through you know different modes auto snow sand or mud and then you've got your four wheel uh, lock as well that you can kind of you know set here which is a very nice thing to have obviously 
Right next to that, you've got your USB port, aux cable, and then your 12 volt adapter right there. Above that, you've got your typical heating and cooling temperature controls that you can, you know, control from here or from this nice looking 8.4 inch touchscreen that you can go through a bunch of little options. One thing that I do like about the center section here is that the screen being right here, it doesn't feel out of place and it just fits perfectly into the grooves of the, you know, the dashboard and all of that, which looks really, really cool. One thing that does stick out to me like a sore thumb is the vents right here. I wish they kind of blended them into the dashboard, but they kind of look like they're floating up on the dashboard, but I guess it's a unique car, so why not have a unique thing? Now, on the actual touchscreen, very, very basic. You've got your media, AM, FM, or Sirius XM. You've got your climate control right there, so you can control your climate from here or down here. And then you've got your controls right here. This does have heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then heated seats for the passenger as well. And then you've got your settings button there. You've got your apps button here. Go through different features navigation built into the vehicle very very cool and convenient you've got your phone settings here and then back to your regular settings that you can kind of fine tune and do whatever you need to above that you've got your rear view mirror which is dimmable by the press of this button and like i was mentioning those easter eggs they've got another jeep grill hidden in the front here which is really really cool up above you got your SOS and assist buttons, interior lighting, and then for your sunroof and your sunshade. Now check this out. The panoramic sunroof goes from all the way here, all the way back there. Pretty much the whole of the car. So the rear people are enjoying it fully. And even the front, it's massive. So really, really cool. And a must have in my opinion, if you're getting the Renegade, to have a panoramic sunroof. And if I just press this, that is what your shade looks like. It comes all the way through. So, you know, if the sun is beating on you, just have your shade and it will look way, way better. Even though you can kind of still see through it, but that's the whole unique feature of it. And coming over to the passenger side, of course, you've got more of that cloth seating, which looks really, really cool. One thing that I do like before I mention, you do have a little bit of netting here to put very, very small things like a phone or a key. Up here on the actual dashboard, you have kind of like a grab handle, kind of reminds me of the Jeep Wranglers. And again, you've got more of that 80th anniversary badging right there. If we open up the glove department, you've got a decent amount of room for this being a small vehicle. So you can fit kind of, you know, whatever you need to. And as for what the Renegade competes with, with this competitors, it's going to go up against something like the Hyundai Kona, Kia Seltos or even the Nissan Rogue. This obviously it compares to those but let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. And here is the window sticker for the 2021 Jeep Renegade 80th Anniversary Edition. You can see the standard features here and then of course what else comes with the vehicle standard from the factory and then you've got your 80th anniversary package right here. Trailer tow, sun and sound and then a few other goodies here and there. And that's it for this beautiful 2021 Renegade 80th Anniversary Package. Let me know in the comments down below if you love it or if you hate it.